What's going on Clash Bashers, Rocky here today, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different as far as strategy. We're going to be showing off multiple different strategies for Town Hall 9, uh, but we're not really going to focus in on one. One of the toughest part about doing videos, uh, especially for strategy, is getting the proper replays. And sometimes we've been facing a lot of kind of like engineered clans, so I don't think I really have like the proper replays uh, to show off, you know, the strategies that I want to. Instead, uh, we have some solid hits of different strategies, and that's what we're going to show off today. Some different Town Hall 9 three-star strategies. Um, I've seen other people do something similar to this, and it works really well in my opinion. So we're going to try this, uh, see how you guys like it. I got five different replays for you with five completely different strategies, uh, and we're going to show that off. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you guys like it, uh, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this in the future for sure. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are growing. We're getting close to 10K. Uh, at 10K, we will be be doing a Q&A video where you guys can ask me questions and I'll pick out you know some of my favorites and answer them live in a video so, so let's go ahead and get into the first replay here guys all right our first replay comes to us from Kevin Durant and he's gonna be using a Gova bow but what I thought was pretty cool is he's using ice wizards he's got three ice wizards in here and he gets pretty good use out of them so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this he's got ice wizards in there he's got bowlers in his clan castle uh, let's go ahead and get the replay going he's got 10 wizards 12 valkyries uh, two golems bowlers in the clan castle he's gonna go ahead and quad quake open this section right here uh, exposing that core, exposing that expo, getting everything nice and wide open, uh, get his golems going down there, dropping in some wizards to start that funnel. Uh, I would like to see him drop a wizard on that dark barracks, but a wizard goes over there and clears it, no problem there. Uh, so it drops in the king to help get that funnel. Remember, with bowlers, you want a nice wide funnel. Out come the clan castle loons, here they all come. Uh, clan castle loons and baby dragon in the clan castle. Uh, you see, drops in the ice wizards right there. Uh, in come the Valks, uh, and he's going to work on the clan castle with the wizards, the queen, and everything's just going to go down quick. Everything funnels up real nicely into that core, as you see here, uh, the bowlers, the Valks, everything right into that core. He got some pretty decent value out of his ice wizards, uh, and everything's nice and spread out, running through this base. He's got bowlers down here with the queen, he's got golems up top, kind of behind everything. Uh, his bo uh, golems got really behind the bowlers and Valks. Uh, but no big deal here as he's running through the base. Uh, the golems are end up going to tank for the queen here uh, as the queen's going to go ahead and target on some of these defenses, work through this section here. Still got his queen's ability. Valk's still running around the building of the base. Uh, you see he's got cleanup troops over here. Valk's running around that exterior up there. So it's going to come together really nicely for a really good three-star here. You see those golems just tanking really well for the queen here as the queen's hitting that gold storage. Golems get through the wall finally. And you see que queen's ability goes off. Clears out that Archer Tower, clears out that cannon, and the rest is just going to be history for this nice, easy three-star. There goes off the Ice Trap. I'm assuming this guy was expecting people to enter up there, uh, and that's why he put his Ice Trap there, but uh, it works out really well for him. Kevin Durant's going to go ahead and finish this base off right here with the Wizards, Archers, and Valkyrie to clear that last barracks for the three-star. A very cool strategy using some Ice Wizards while they're still here. Uh, and a very solid three star from Kevin Durant. Next up, we have It's Justin, and he's going to be using a Gola Loon. So he's going to be using a Golem Kill Squad uh, before he sends in his Hounds and his Loons to take out the Clan Castle, take out the Enemy Queen, take out this air defense up here as he comes in. So uh, it's going to work out really well for him. He's got two Hounds. I'm uh, pretty sure he has a Golem in his Clan Castle, so he's going to be using two Golems, some uh, Wizards, Heroes to get into this base uh, and just take out some of these structures, take out the. Uh, the uh, clan castle as we said and the queen so he's gonna start up here top left uh, let me show you guys the base real quick before he does start uh, so you guys can kind of get a feel for what the base is looking like so he's gonna start up here top left in comes that clan castle golem uh, nice full max golem in comes his other golem he's gonna start that nice wide funnel with the wizards uh, unfortunately the bomb tower does target his wizards over there but no big deal here uh, in come the wall breakers to break open those walls right there uh, golem goes in wizards going in here comes the king uh, right up the middle with the golem, the wizards, and all that good stuff there. Uh, and they're going to work their way into this base a little bit, get towards the air defense, get towards that queen. Uh, out come the clan castle troops, as we see here. Uh, I was just making sure he didn't start his uh, air portion of the raid. Uh, poison on the clan castle troops, slow them down a little bit. Queen's working on them. Uh, we see he gets that first air defense down. In come the hounds, in come the loons down here at the bottom. So here comes the air portion of the raid as he gets that first air defense out. Uh, we see we got the hounds just working on those air defenses. Uh, balloons just running through the base, working really well. 
uh, uses that first freeze there was well, only freeze right there on that air defense just to keep that hound kind of alive uh, as he works through the base here and the hounds still alive the he gets that second air defense I should have showed he used some balloons and a haste up there uh, but works out really well for him as the balloons are gonna go ahead and finish off these defenses spread out a little bit uh, you see the the hound is up there unpopped uh, ideally you'd like your hounds popped for cleanup with the pups but does not wor worry for it or does not work out bad for him because he does have his kill squad still kind of left uh, you see he's got that max golem so he might not even needed the other golem but uh, he does get tons of value out of that uh, and it's just going to be easy cleanup from here so a nice ground hybrid air attack uh, gola loon which i've been seeing a lot of people talking about uh buzzing about i haven't really played with it a ton i've been going strictly air and having quite a bit of success with this so a very nice three star from there there from it's justin and let's go ahead and get into our third all attack, right guys. guys speaking of air attacks this is me on the wife's account i do use my wife's uh town hall nine account because i don't have one right now uh so using her town hall nine account against this clean it was a cleanup we're gonna be using a modified queen pop uh, so we're gonna zap out an air defense we're gonna instead of two rages i'm bringing uh two extra haste uh i really like the haste with the air uh air attacks uh, we don't really have to worry about the clan castle lure because he does have loons in his clan castle. Uh, so we're going to zap out this top air defense up here. And then I'm going to kind of just keep it on two times speed while we wait on the raid to start here. Uh, we're going to bring in our hounds. There we go. Bring in our max hound kind of across the face of those archer towers, the uh, air defenses and whatnot. Uh, our second hound sets off the freeze trap. And I kind of, I meant to drop loons there, but I did not switch over. So... We kind of have to recover here. I have four hounds on one air defense, but it ends up working out really nicely for me in this base in particular. Uh, having all those hounds together isn't a big deal. Uh, again, I, I meant to switch to loons, but I kind of fat fingered it and just dropped all my hounds in. Uh, so we got see we got all the hounds just working in there. Uh, loons still going. The queen is getting ready to drop. There we go. Those pups take out the queen. So we didn't really get like the greatest of a pop on the queen, uh, but it works out pretty well. We see another hound pop right there. I'm pretty sure we still have one hound alive. Yeah, there he is. One hound alive. Uh, and he's going to eventually get taken out by this archer tower. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, nope. The balloons got him. All right. So one hound alive. There we go. The, the wizard tower got the got that hound taken out. Uh, and we got hounds all over the base. We got our heroes coming in. We got uh, loons still working. So we're in really good shape here uh, as far as cleaning this up for the three star just nice easy cleanup from there get the clan castle taken out so we can drop in our heroes so we don't accidentally lure those balloons out but a really nice solid attack especially from a recovery because i don't want to drop four uh lava hounds on one air defense uh but you know sometimes mistakes like that happen and it's about how you recover never give up on a raid guys never just like throw in the towel you can always try to recover get a high percentage two star you even recover and get the three star like this so a really nice attack there let's go ahead and get into some ground stuff all right here. guys next up we have jack and he's going to be using a govaho uh but he's going to be going heavier on the hogs you see he's got 18 hogs he's got a max golem in his clan castle six valkyries another golem 11 wizards um jump spell instead of quakes because some people use quad quick to get into the base and he's got three heal spells so he's going to start his raid down here at the bottom uh, we'll see the max golem kind of come in down here near this flag area and what he's kind of trying to accomplish here is try to take out these heroes which are up here in the core trick take out those clan castle troops uh, with the qu kill squad portion of the raid the the two golem wizards uh, Valk portion of the raid with the heroes uh, that way the hogs aren't gonna have troops chasing them around heroes chasing them around uh, which is really something you need to work on and be to be really successful at the uh, golem or the hog rider portion of your raids uh, but he does he executes really well here gets this nice jump here lots of value out of the jump in come the valkyries to go towards that core here comes the clan castle troops as you see throws a poison on them wizards queen everything's going to end up targeting them to get them taken out drop down the balloons actually the queen doesn't do a whole lot on the clan castle troops it's all the wizards uh you see he's got the enemy heroes taken out uh, except for the enemy king there he's going to get taken out right there uh and then you know he's good for the hogs here come the hogs uh top right portion of the raid a nice heal spell there and he's just going to keep everything healed up keep them nice and alive very very good value heal, heal spell right there uh with the double giant bomb going off 
Pog's just running through the base. Kill Squad's still working, still got a heal spell. So he's getting tons of value out of this. Uh, we see that Expo targeting the Golem. So he gets so much value out of his Kill Squad here, uh, letting them just kind of work into the center of that base there. Uh, we see the Hogs just running down to this last section here. Uh, one free, or one heal spell rather remaining. Throws that in, no big deal there, just easy money uh, as he's going to clean up the Archer Tower and the Cannon. And it's just going to be cl clean up from there, guys. Like a really easy, solid, well-executed attack there uh, as we see just troops running through and cleaning up the base here. Uh, but yeah, that's a really good execution on the Kill Squad in my opinion. He got right into that core, got the Clan Castle troops got taken out, got both the heroes taken out. Talk about value. Got both the heroes taken out. Uh, and the Hogs just came in and did work around the exterior of the base, so very nice three-star there. So we're going to get into another uh, ground attack All here. Alright guys, finally we have Little Bro coming in. He's going to be using a Gova Ho Bow. Uh, he's got Bowlers in the Clan Castles, 14 Hog Riders, 7 Valkyries, a Golem, uh, some Wizards obviously in there, and he's going to Quad Quake into the space. Uh, and he's got Bowlers in the Clan Castle, so really complex attack here as far as so much stuff going on. Uh, but it works out really well for him, as you'll see here. Uh, he gets those wizards going, taking out all these buildings. In come the wall breakers to kind of penetrate in there. They don't really go, I'm sure, where he would like. I'm sure he would like them to go a little bit left. Uh, but it doesn't work out too bad for him, as we see here. Uh, King, Queen, Valkyries, Bowlers all coming in. Uh, but here come the clan castle troops uh, with a freeze trap on the clan castle's troops. He throws down the heel to keep those wizards alive, keep those clan castle troops at bay knocking them down uh, we see the bowlers kind of working around here so he doesn't get the best of uh execution on the kill squad there as far as them they wandered around uh the queen just kind of is alive down here which is not good uh so the kill squad kind of walks up the right side here instead of into the core of the base but he recovers really nicely here as we're going to see uh we see the hogs just running through the base here uh the, following in the kill squad so the kill squad's going to kind of tank for the hogs pretty decently here uh, as we see the hogs just working through. Uh, he's still got that heal spell waiting to drop on those hogs. Uh, really patient on the heal spell as we see it coming right there, keeping those hogs alive. Uh, really good placement on the heal spell, I thought. Uh, and we see the kill squad come back towards uh, the uh, clank, the town hall rather, the enemy queen and all that and get that all taken out. Enemy queen is finally down so she's not going to be shooting at the hogs. Uh, he's still got his queen with her ability so he's really good here. Uh, recovers really nicely from the kill squad kind of going off to the side. So, so this is another example of recovering really well here uh, and executing really properly and getting the three star. So we see he's going to go ahead and finish up the raid here. Uh, he's still got tons of troops around the outside cleaning up here. Uh, his queen's going to come in nice and clutch down here on this wizard tower as we're going to see as she's finishing up all these structures here. Uh, but yeah, it works out really nicely for him here. That barbarian saves the day. Uh, queen comes in, clutch, gets the three star there. So a very nice recovery off of a bad start there. I thought that was something I wanted to show you guys. I don't want to show you guys all perfect attacks because not all attacks go perfect. Sometimes you do have to recover, and it's about making those recoveries and getting those three stars. Getting those triples, baby. Oh, baby, a triple! So, yeah, hopefully you guys like this type of video today. Something a little bit different we haven't really done on the channel, but hopefully you guys like it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a share. Uh, tell all your friends about it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this type of content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.